I'm going to work through a particular problem here. Um, we're given that a curve has equation y equals 4x squared minus 2, and the points a and b on the curve have x coordinates 5 and 5 plus h respectively. So the x coordinate of a is 5, and the x coordinate of b is 5 plus h. Part a. Find the gradient of the curve AB, of the chord, sorry, AB. So we know that the x coordinate of A is 5, so the y coordinate will be 4 lots of 5 squared take away 2. So 4 lots of 25 is 100, so 100 take away 2 is 98. Now we also need the y coordinate of B. We know its x coordinate is 5 plus h, so its y coordinate will be 4 lots of 5 plus h squared minus 2. So that's 4 lots of h squared plus 10h plus 25 minus 2. So 4h squared plus 40h plus 100, take away 2, so makes the 98. So the y coordinate of b is 4h squared plus 40h plus 98. So then, because I've now got the coordinates of A and B, I can find the gradient of the chord AB, M, to be the difference in the Y coordinates, so 4H squared plus 40H plus 98 take away 98, over 5 plus H take away 5. So what that's going to leave me is 4h squared plus 40h on the top and just h in the denominator. Now if I simplify that, 4h squared divided by h is just 4h and 40h divided by h is 40. So part b, hence find the gradient of the curve at a, well, that will be equal to 4h plus 40 when h is tending towards 0. And as h gets smaller and smaller and smaller, 4h gets smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where I am just left with 40. And so the gradient of the curve at a will be 40. And this is how we can use differentiation from first principles in order to show it.